And Berlin, or indeed Bavaria, might not be the first place you think of when it comes to elephants, but they could soon be making their way to Germany if Botswana's president has his way. Maguiti Masisi has uh, threatened to send 20,000 elephants to Germany after Berlin warned that it might limit the import of hunting trophies. Botswana is home to one of the world's largest elephant populations, and conservation efforts have caused their numbers to swell to more than 130,000 in recent years. The government's issued a limited number of hunting permits to keep their populations in check and to raise money for local towns. President Masisi told a German newspaper that a ban on hunting trophies could impoverish some Botswanans. Well, our correspondent uh, Pamela Ramusu in the Botswana capital, uh, Gaborone, uh, told me what's really behind the president's threat. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. 20,000 is a lot of, of elephants. Um, I think um, President Masisi is just frustrated um, they have tried to do the necessary work to just try to show the Western world that this is what is happening on the ground. This is why we need to, to do this thing. But the Western world has other ideas. So that's why he's offering you the 20,000 elephants. OK, I'm, I'm guessing he's not serious, though, because I'm just trying to think of the logistics. That's, that's a lot of elephants to move. <laughs> I'm also trying to think of the the logistics, but um, let's hope let's let's cross our fingers and hope that he's joking. But if he's not joking, um, the federal government has to be ready um, to um, house these elephants um, and give them sufficient land uh, so that they can roam free, as they've been roaming free here in Botswana. So well, let's that's... just hope he's he's bluffing. I suppose that the, the, the serious and perhaps positive side to this story is that it's happening because conservation efforts perhaps have been uh, too successful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Bozon has done so well in terms of conservation and um, we are at the stage because um, we have been having all these campaigns, we have been doing um, the groundwork to try and, and conserve um, not only the elephants, but our wildlife in general. And so how would the president's proposed system, his licensing system, how would that work? Um, what the current system, um, those who are interested, they apply um, and they pay for the permits. Um, the government is very strict when it comes to, to hunting. So it's not like um, I can be given the the license. Um, there are stringent measures that are put in place to make sure that the right people are given this license or the permit. And, and is that the, the only way that, that uh, their numbers can be controlled? Just, just shoot them? Aren't there other ways to control the elephant population? <laughs> when you're saying just shoot them, it's like you, you mean I'm just holding a gun and, and I'm just going around and shooting. No, it, it doesn't happen like that. Um, there are measures that have been put in place to ensure that um, the right number of, of elephants are killed at a certain period. But just to answer you, um, I don't think, um, um, oh, I've lost my train of thought. But I think what is currently happening in Botswana is working for us, and I don't see any reason why it should be stopped. So we, have 130, 000, we have 130,000 elephants, so you can imagine. Um, I think right now, Busan is the leading country when it comes to elephant population in the world. OK, so we're talking really then about a story of successful uh, conservation, but also about uh, German uh, attitudes. Uh, I wonder how Western um, advice is generally perceived uh, there in Botswana. <laughs> um, I think we, we just laugh it off, I mean, because, you know, what is happening right now is that um, we believe or we think that the Westerners are always trying to flex their muscles and show that they have power. So that's why they, this is happening right now. Um, they're just trying to show that how we have more power than maybe Botswana. Um, but really, um, I mean, if Germany had the number of populations that we have right now. Um, do you think they would do the job that Bozan has done over the years? Do you think they would have the numbers that Bozan has right now?
OK. That's, that's something worth uh, thinking about. But if he does eventually uh, send those um, 20,000 over, put me down for two. Thanks so much for joining us, DW uh, correspondent <laughs> Pamela Ramasu in Gaborone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.